What is the relationship between mental illness and violence? I think what's important to know is that although the risk is increased, even taken uh, as a whole, people with mental illness account for only a very small percentage of the violence in our society. What are you saying to parents who have heard that Adam Lanza may have had Asperger's and are now worried about the kid down the street with Asperger's? I don't think that uh, it would be realistic for uh, anyone to be fearful uh, of people with uh, Asperger's uh, syndrome or any of the disorders on the autism spectrum. As best we know, they are not associated with increased violence risk and we have a much stronger basis to be fearful of our neighbor next door who comes home and drinks two six packs of beer uh, every evening. Uh, the strongest risk factor we know of in our society for uh, violence is uh, alcohol abuse. When somebody shoots a child, do we know anything about the state of mind? Do they see that child as a human being? It is uh, extremely rare for adults to kill unrelated children. Uh, so rare that it's hard to look at a body of literature that describes accurately what's going on uh, in their minds. But what we know about the minds of people who kill uh, in general is that uh, they have not so much dehumanized their victim uh, as uh, they are simply overpowered by the emotions that they feel at that moment. The anger, commonly, the hate, the fear, uh, whatever it may be, uh, drives uh, their behavior. Sometimes there seems to be denial in families of people who have mental illness. Can you talk about what contribution that makes to outcome? When families deny uh, the presence or seriousness of mental disorders, it's often a significant barrier to getting care uh, for their loved one. Uh, there are reasons to believe the earlier we intervene with many mental disorders, the better the outcome. Certainly the less suffering uh, the loved one goes through. Uh, and so breaking through those barriers of denial is, is a critical factor in ensuring that people receive proper care. Do you think it's often that people just don't see it or that they deny it? I suspect most parents see it and I suspect a lot of parents have trouble admitting to themselves above all that there's something seriously wrong with their child. So is there anything we should be doing differently as a society? Well, I think the, uh, our reliance on uh, trying to identify dangerous people is almost certainly misplaced. We will never be able to do that with any degree of certainty, at least not without wildly overpredicting and restricting the lives of many, many people who will never uh, harm uh, anyone. Uh, restricting the means of uh, killing uh, is another story. As long as uh, assault weapons, semi-automatic weapons are widely available in our society, Troubled people will get their hands on them and these kinds of events sadly will recur.